agonizing watching the old slowdown at yeah. the end of that game. But in college basketball, you can do that. Can't in the pros, that's, but... That's right. That's the trademark of Princeton. In fact, Princeton beat the Toreros at their own game. The Tigers are patient, smart, and made very few mistakes. She added it all up, and Princeton takes a 65-56 victory and ruins San Diego's coming out party in the NCAA tournament. In the pregame hype, we talked about how important it was for USD to get the early lead. Princeton can be a bear if it has an early advantage. Well, the Toreros can attest to that. The Tigers left it up to senior forward Kevin Mullen, and he nearly took care of USD all by himself. He hit 7 of 9 from the floor in the first half for 22 points, and the Tigers had a very comfortable 33-24 halftime lead. Now, that's what you call playing right into Princeton's hands. The Tigers rarely give you a break, and there were times when USD didn't help its own cause. The Toreros also missed the front ends of some big one-and-ones at the free throw line. They did pull to within five late, but no closer. Mullen with 38 points, and the Tigers take a 65-56 win. So it's on to the second round, and Nevada-Las Vegas for Princeton, while the storybook season comes to an end for USD. I'm sure in about a week, you know, we'll look back and realize that, you know, hey, it was a great year. But right now, you know, we kind of feel like, you know, Princeton was a team, you know, we could have beat, and, you know, everybody's kind of down about that. Still it was Sainter Tina Oregon in an opening round game Friday night at Peterson Gym. State comes in at 23-5, and five, still unranked, but the Lady Aztecs can do something about it on Friday. People were having a little doubt, you know, the first time about us. But right now, you know, we're in a great position and everything, and I think the people are believing that we can do something, even though we do have a young team and everything. University of... Surprise everyone. Last night at Peterson Gym, they won their first ever NCAA playoff game, 70-63 over the Oregon Ducks. Tina Hutchinson, the highest scoring freshman in NCAA history, led the Aztec attack with 33 points. She also had 16 rebounds and 10 steals to effectively shut down Oregon's big gun, Allison Lang, who wound up with 22. The Lady Aztecs led by nine at the half. Oregon tied it in the second half, but then the Lady Aztecs surged again, coming away with the victory. We knew that we could beat this team because um, we had heard a lot of things about Allison Lang, and basically she was their player. And we knew that if we shut down Allison Lang, you know, that we'd um, knock down the Ducks. I thought it was an overall team effort. The bench came in, did a tremendous job for us, and, and you know, that's what basketball athletics is all about. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, this is probably, I said that last Sunday was one of the greatest moments in my life. And uh, I don't know, they just keep coming, so this is another, you know, but I don't want it to stop. Just let it continue. <laughs> The Lady Aztecs will face Cal State Long Beach Thursday in L.A. They lost two regular season games to Long Beach, so they're going to have their hands full. State in round two of the NCAA tournament, and the third time was not a charm for San Diego State. The 49ers win 91-73 in overtime. Al Janis has a report. We're only about 10 minutes into this one tonight, and there was Tina Hutchinson riding the bench with three fouls. And still, the Aztecs took a six-point lead into the locker room at halftime. Six-foot freshman Shelda Arsenault had 10 of her 14 at the half, and junior Marcy Blackman began the second half with three straight jumpers, and now State had an eight-point lead, but they couldn't protect it. The bigger Long Beach gals kept going inside to 6'5", Janet Davis, who had 17 points, and 6'1", Cindy Brown really burned them with 25, and the 49er women were now up by seven. Just as I was writing the Aztecs off, Tina got hot, four fouls in all. She finished with 27 points. 6-4, Tony Wallace scored inside. It was a one-point game, 69-68 Long Beach. Now, Arsenal had a chance to win it at the free throw line, but couldn't do it. But at least we had overtime. But the Aztecs had used it all up. The 49ers outscored them 21-4 in OT to advance to the Western Regional Championship. I hurt for them because I know how bad they wanted it, but I think they gave it their best effort, and I, that's all you can ask. But considering the fact the Lady Aztecs were 10 and 18 last year, in one year they turned it around to 24 and 6 and did get as far as the NCAA second round. So they do have that to feel good about and the thought of all that talent coming back next year. From the Los Angeles Sports Arena, Al Janis, New Center 39. There were some heavy... Ben Arsenal at the buzzer, but it's too late. It goes into overtime, and that's when Patrick Henry grabbed Kristen Cummings took advantage of the Aztec mistakes. And she scored eight points as Long Beach outscored the Aztecs 22 to four in overtime to win it 91 to 73. 
26 and 23. He generates electricity with his fire. Joubert, 28 to 23, without a 30 seconds and a half. Irish going to go for one, it appears. It's a good opportunity for Michigan to take some chances in the passing lane. Barlow, rebound, tipped up by Kenton. Turner against Howard. Momentum very much with the Irish at the close of this half. Under 10 seconds, shot by Turner. Rebound, Hicks. He can rebound, too. Went out of four seconds. Three, two. The ball knocked out of bounds. Maybe you get a foul, maybe you get a tip. The shot by Price won't go at the buzzer. That's the end of the first half. Not some half. A real battle. And, of course, we got a lot more coming up. Just a two-point difference. Michigan leading Notre Dame 28 to 26, and a second half still to come. Join us. Scored 14 of the last 16 points. What a play. Eric Turner caught that ball, laying flat on his back, and made a pass. Bodies are falling underneath. Eric Turner. Turner now has 10 points. Michigan now leads by four. He comes. He has to get the ball back in the corner. Stumpton. Digger may need another one quick here. With just about 12 minutes to go, this game's getting out of hand. 11 has really been something, haven't they? That's the match. Number 11, Joubert, who was very fresh. He's rested a long time in the second half. Pelicuda started by... And the time, a little over five minutes. McCormick... Or brings the ball up very impressively. 13-point lead for Michigan. As on the play, Pelicudis keeping that possession. Howard. Well, Bill Frieder took over for Johnny Orr and has been building this thing slowly. And the future looks superb. Rebound Tarpley. Pelicudis, they give him the ball. Oh, look at that pass. How about a risky... Seventy-one fifty-six, two forty-one.